bright duty every student matters the first kingdom is monera let's uh, see what are their characteristics first it includes the prokaryotic cells what is the definition of prokaryotic cells that these cells they lack the organized nucleus and membrane bound organelles i'll just draw a diagram of a bacteria which will help you understand this is a typical bacterial cells with hair like structure there is a outer capsule over here then a chromatin material which is called nucleoid and the cytoplasm all right so if you see there are no membrane bound nucleus is not there membrane bound organelles like mitochondria vacuoles they are not there so this such a cell is called a prokaryotic cell so all these organisms are actually divided as monera so there is one more organisms which is called anabena so in this also they are present as clusters some inactive spores here like this so if you see there are no nucleus or organelles in this this is bacteria and this one is anabena fine so this will this diagram will help you understand what are actually monera they, they have prokaryotic cells all of all the monera they are unicellular some of the monera they have cell wall while others do not some of them are autotrophic while others are heterotrophic examples include bacteria cyanobacteria blue green algae mycoplasma they are some of the examples you have to remember few examples in each kingdom so if you see whether they have cell wall or not they are still categorized into one group one kingdom which is monera because they are all prokaryotic so this is how the scientists under actually choose what the more important characteristic is whether they are prokaryotic or not so these are the features of first kingdom that is monera let's move on to the next kingdom that is protista these are also unicellular but they are eukaryotic cell eukaryotic cell means they have membrane bound nucleus they also have membrane bound organelles so they are complete cells they uh, some of them are autotrophic while others are heterotrophic mode of nutrition for locomotion that is movement some of organisms they have pseudopodia some have tiny hair like cilia and paramecium they have flagella so look at this figure this is amoeba they they can produce pseudopodia which helps in uh, acquiring food and also in uh, locomotion you can see they have nucleus and others membrane bound uh, organelles the second this diagram is paramecium this is also a unicellular eukaryotic cell they have nucleus these tiny hair they are cilia which help in the in movement also and then there is one more organism under this that is paramecium what do they have they have one single flagella single long thread like structure flagella which helps in movement flagella or tiny hair like cilia or pseudopodia which helps in locomotion examples are unicellular algae diatoms protozoans like paramecium and uh, like paramecium and euglena 